so foams have their own unique set of challenges. Can you talk about some of those? Well, with foams, you're introducing another phase. You're, you're introducing air um, through aerosol foams um, and even pumped uh, foams as well. With that um, comes some challenges in that um, possibly an excipient that um, is functional with one attribute, so maybe it um, imparts a certain drug delivery, it might act as an anti-foaming agent. So by introducing one other aspect of the formulation, you're further complicating and um, However, you are also uh, introducing another um, uh, opportunity to achieve um, the, the targeted profile. You have a, a new uh, space for understanding the um, microstructures or um, some of the species that might form as a result of um, uh, incorporating air or making um, a formulation into an aerosol. How does the selection of excipients help in addressing some of those challenges? It's really important in, um, in selecting excipients to look at the end formulation. So um, considering the interaction between the excipients and how um, introducing those into any kind of dosage form um, could potentially uh, impact the final formulation and the delivery of the drug. Now, how does BASF serve as an advisor to clients evaluating various packaging types for their foams? Right. Well, within BASF, we don't have a strong focus on uh, developing packaging um, uh, techniques or, um, or devices. However, we are very aware of the market. We've been able to have um, really deep conversations with our customers, suppliers, and so um, through these conversations, we're able to uh, serve as an advisor and help um, understand how um, possibly we can impart some knowledge to them on um, the various packaging approaches that are available in the market.